Hey y'all, welcome back to our channel. We are Shorebound Farms, a family of three living in Northeast Louisiana. We are a couple of days away from processing our birds in this video. And it's our first last batch of the season. But we had to get our morning chores done. And later in the video, I do some canning. We had to discuss some things that morning. Got a lot of mess going around because we were trying to get everything set up for processing and just trying to keep up with our everyday chores, functioning, work, everything else. It is Thursday morning. Um, what is today's date? It is Thursday, October 27th. Yeah, 27th. Just a few more days. Just a couple more days. Today, tomorrow, and then Saturday we process our first batch of dirty birds for the rest of the season. So, let's go see what they look like. This is cold. Steven is already out here. He's already moved the oldest batch. And he's about to move the ducks. It is so cold. I really need some gloves on. Ooh. They're so big. Hey, you're pretty. Hold on, we got two more left. She awake? No. Is that good? Yeah. I think, well, a little more. You can see Steven pulled out a chicken and set it on top of the duck's tractor. It wasn't doing very well. Um, it actually did not make it through the day. So we weren't sure what was wrong with it exactly. Sometimes you do just lose some of these birds. But you shouldn't have a big loss as long as you're doing everything correctly. Feeding them and watering them correctly and not overfeeding them as well. okay so cut to the end of our day i was canning up some beef broth i know earlier in the week i had mentioned that i was planning i was planning on doing that but um i didn't get to it until like the next day or two however it was sitting in the fridge and then i had to heat it back up to be able to can it so got my cans full got my lids and my uh, rings all sanitized and ready to go you want to leave about an inch of headspace in your jars and wipe your jars down with some vinegar so that they're clean and you won't have any problems with sealing whenever you are 
uh, processing your batch. Everything's processing the batch. Like, I refer everything to that, but that's what it is. Kind of funny. We'll be processing a batch of chickens later. Put your lids on. Try to make sure that they're kind of straight on there. Of course, whenever you put your lids, uh, your rings on, your lids kind of straighten out. But I always, I don't know, I'm a little particular about how they're on there. I don't want it to be stupid crooked. Super crooked. I don't want them to be super crooked because OCD. Yes. I already put my weight on because at this point it had been steaming for a while and venting for at least 10 minutes at a full vent. And then I had to wait for it to come up to 11 pounds of pressure. So we were doing 11 pounds for 20 minutes. Phoebe loves getting in this little drawer. Don't worry, the stove was off at this point. It had been done and was cooling down completely. She's always in this drawer though. If you listen closely, you will hear some of the pings. This is exciting. Don't mind the noise in the background. That's just Phoebe watching her stories. The cans are done. They're cooled down a lot. I'm going to check them. Move my lids. Hopefully they're all good to go. Oh, that was a little stuck. Oh, it's so pretty. And that's all. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Isn't it so pretty? Y'all go make yourself some broth. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, like our video, and leave a comment. We'll see you later. Bye.